Okay. All right, so we're talking about moments. We'll continue with that. All right? Now, as we say, let us say we have an object like this. Let's just start to do a little recap. If we have an object like this, let's, let us say this is a, um, a, a, a plank, right? And we have that plank resting, for example, on this thing right here, right? So in other words, it's resting on this that is acting as a, as a what? This is pivot. As a pivot, right? So we have this acting as our pivot. Let me kind of design it up a little bit. So we have this thing right here, which is our pivot. Now, when we have this situation right here, what we're going to see is that let us say we have a force that acts on this plank. Let us say we have a force that acts on this plank. So in other words, it's like somebody comes and sit right here. So for example, it's like we have a seesaw and we have a, someone come and they sit on the seesaw at this point, right? Like so. So they sit on the seesaw like this. So what they're going to do now, because they will have a mass and they're in a gravitational field, they're going to experience a force, which is their weight. So their weight will now be resting on this plank, right? And produce this force that we direct downward. So the weight will be directed downward, right? Because as we know, gravity is acting downward. So we're gonna have a force, let us say we call that F, right? So we have this force F right here acting on this object. And as we can see, it is acting at some distance from this point right here, which we say is our pivot. So because this force is acting at whatever distance this is from the pivot, what we will see is that this pivot will experience what we say is a turning effect, or simply put, we say that it is a moment. So let me just refresh this again. So again, what we're saying is that we have this object right here, right? It is resting on this pivot, right? We have someone who comes and sits on this side, or sit anywhere, it could be anywhere. Once it is at some distance from the pivot, right? In this case, the distance D, what we're going to see is that this object will experience a turning effect, and that turning effect is what we refer to as our moment. Okay? Yes, sir. Right? And we said now that that moment, which we call, which we give the symbol T, is simply equal to the product of whatever this force is multiplied by this perpendicular distance, D. Okay? Um, yes, sir. Todd, I'm not hearing from you, Todd. Let me know what's going on with you. Yes, sir. I'm hearing what you're saying, sir. Okay, good. All right, so just to refresh us, everybody can be much more comfortable in terms of what we cover. So this is what we have right here. So because of this force acting at this perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force, so the force is going straight down and the distance is taken perpendicularly to the direction of the force. So now, because of that situation, what we see is that this object it will experience a turning effect, and that turning effect is that turning effect will be about this particular point. Okay, and we can calculate the turning effect, which is the moment, by simply multiplying the force and whatever perpendicular distance this is. Okay. Follow. Yes, sir. So now let us do a little example. Let us say, we say that this, the weight of this person is, let us say, his weight is 500 newtons, right? And he's sitting at a distance, let us say, 1.6 meters from the pivot, right? So his weight is 500 newtons, and he's sitting at a distance of 1.6 meters from the pivot. Now, based on this formula right here, we can actually calculate the turning effect that will be produced um, about this point by the weight of this person. So now, what we do now is we we'll just simply substitute in our formula and calculate. So what we do now, we're going to say that the force F is this value. So we say 500 newtons multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is 1.6 meters. And this works out to be what? 800. 800. Newtons. What's the unit now, Matthew? Newtons. No? Force. 
We're multiplying force in newtons and distance in meters. And so what is meters? Newton meters. Newton meters. Newton meters, right? So that's how we calculate the moment of a force. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So let's do like two more examples. Let's do two more examples. Let us say, um, I'm going to make this sort of a worded one. Um, let us say, uh, a boy of weight, I'm going to keep it simple. Weight, let us say, his weight is 520 Newton sat. Um, let's say 1.5 meters um, from the pivot of a seesaw, seesaw, calculate the moment due to the boy's weight. Boys wait about the pivot. All right, let's see if we can do this uh, from the pivot. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, so quick, quickly try this one so we can discuss it. All right. So this is what we have, right? The seesaw like so. And this is the boy sitting right here. Right, this is the boy sitting right here like that. And he's sitting at a distance, as we say, 1.5 meters from the pivot, right? And his weight is this value, which is 520 Newton. So now, since we want to find the moment or the turning effect about the pivot due to the weight of this person, we can say that the moment T is equal to his weight, which is the force, multiplied by the perpendicular distance D. Now, what we do from here now is we'll just plug in the values. So we're going to say 520 newtons multiplied by 1.5 meters. When we multiply these out, we get 520 times 1.5 is what? 700 and how much? 80. 80 newton meter all right so that's how we deal with this one all right now let me give you another one another one to try uh, anisha yes sir i got the correction i had 1.2 meters instead okay 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 all right next one now we're gonna say now um calculate the moment due to the weight of the girl of the girl in the diagram below. All right, let's see if we can do this thing on the diagram below. Um, if she sits if she sits, let us say, uh, 1.2 meters from the uh, from one end, from one from one end of a uniform. Uh, let us say this is four meter plank. Pivoted at its center. So this one is a little more. I have a little more information. So we have some. Let me just sketch it out and let you guys see what's going on. So we have, sorry. It's like we have, what's going on? It's like we have this thing, okay. and it is pivoted like so. Right, pivot it like that. And we have a girl. Let us make her pink. So we have this girl sitting right here. Right, like that. Right. That's the girl. And as I said, 
as you say right here, she sits. Um, uh, what did I say again? 1.2 meters. So she sits 1.2 meters. So uh, from where the girl is, all the way to here is simply 1.2 meters. So let's say 1.2 meters. And let's just say the girl of the weight of this girl is let's say her weight is let's say 480 newtons. All right, so let's see what we take on this one. So again, remember when we're calculating moments, the distance is always the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the wear. So you want to answer? Um, you found the answer, is it? Yes, sir. Where are you going to It's 1,344 newton meters. And then you're going to fall for A, that one doesn't change any further for it. What's up? What's up? 576. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get 536. How about one? Person's getting 576 and, and 384. Oh. 576. I'm going to get 536. And again, and again, five, remember five, six, yeah. that the perpendicular distance, remember we'll talk about it up right here. It's the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot, right? So when we're looking at these questions, we have to first determine where is the pivot. So this is the pivot right here. So we need to know what's the perpendicular distance from where the girl sits, right? Where her force will be acting to the pivot. So we need to determine this distance, okay? Is there any way we can determine the distance? So we gonna divide um the four meters by two, then subtract the one point two from okay. it. Okay, all right. So do that and see what happens. Two eighty four newton meters. Okay. So what about three eighty four? Yes. All right. So remember. Because it says right here that we have a uniform plank, uniform four meter plank, and it is pivoted at the center. But because it is pivoted at the center and it is four meter long, then at the center will be two meters. So from here to here is going to be two meters. Similarly, from here to here will also be two meters. Now, because the girl is sitting 1.2 meters from the end of the plank, then the distance from where she sits to the pivot, which is what we need um, for this calculation, will have to be 0 0.8 meters, right? So now, what we say now is that the moment T must be equal to whatever force she applies to the plank, multiplied by her distance from the pivot. So now, we say this is 480 newtons multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is 0 0.8 meters. And as we say, once we calculate this, we get what? 384? 384 uh, meter. Meter. Is that okay? 